Hey folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog this morning. We are gonna get the Jeep running today and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna get our 1952 Willys Jeep, our farm Jeep that was handed down from my dad to me. Well, not really handed down. I handed him money and he handed the title to me, but <laughs> we're gonna get up on this Jeep. We're gonna get the battery charged up. It's a six volt system. I'm driving down here on the gator to where the Jeep is. Hadn't been used. I remember as a kid growing up and having fun and playing on the Jeep and we're gonna get it running. I hope we're gonna get it running today. So we're gonna tinker around with it. And if I can't get it running, then you guys are the answer. You guys can give me the hints. You guys can tell me what I need to do in order to get this thing running. I think we're gonna be able to start it. I hope we are. First, we gotta rob the six volt battery off the farm all tractor and put it in here. So we gotta go ahead and pull that battery off the tractor, take it up get it on the charger have it charging while we run and put insurance on something that's up there something fun mrs stony ridge got a new car and i traded off mr stony ridge's van and i got a new car i've had my eye on it we'll show it to you in just a little bit all right Woo! So what we have here is a 52 Farm All Super A tractor, and this thing's already sold. This is my dad's. I brought it here to the farm to see if I could sell it for him, and we've got it sold, which is awesome. Uh, the fellow that's buying it, his name is Glenn. Glenn, if you're watching this video, get in touch with me, bud. I want you to come and get the tractor. Need the space in the shed. So what we're gonna do here, this is a six volt system, and the six volt battery, that we bought here has been used and needs to be charged. It's still got a little charge on it. You can, uh, well, let's make sure we're in neutral. Yep, we're in neutral. It's still got some charge, but not much. You hear that? Uh, kinda think we've got an issue with the magneto. I think the magneto needs to be remagnetized on this. So we'll let Mr. Glenn, who purchased it, tinker with it and have some fun. We're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect our positive and negative battery terminals. And they're not on very tight, so that's good. Got some noise in the background over here. We've got the county is back here fixing our road from the hurricane. And guys, let me tell you, thank you all so much for your support. We uh, we had a I lost a dear friend uh, a few days ago, and kind of reached out to you guys, kind of reached out to YouTube for support, kind of put myself on the spot there, and I just want to thank you so much. Let me go get my wrenches and we'll get this pulled out, unless I was smart enough to put them in my pocket. Nope. Six volt system, I'm told it's a, what's called a positive ground system, which I don't know a lot about six volt. I guess six volt is a positive ground system. So should be the same on the Jeep. Hopefully we've got all the things we need to get the Jeep up and running fuel a battery fuel <laughs> hopefully the starter works on that thing again it none of this stuff has been used or worked with for a long time my dad just kind of has a habit of i guess like a lot of country folk just parking it when he got done using it if it became a pain in the butt to work on and fool with if it was unreliable or he wanted to keep it and didn't want to use it, and he just parked it. And I'm glad he did because now we can play with it. Let's get this battery out. This is in a tray, a battery tray, and it's heavy. Let's see if we can get her out. <laughs> I don't know if we are. We're going to have to dump it out. I'm sure turning the battery upside down is really good for it. But. We got it out. That was quicker than I thought. We're gonna take the battery, get it charged. I gotta run to the insurance company with the 1987 Buick Grand National that I just bought. So we sold some vehicles, we did some swapping around, and it's a car I've just wanted since I was old enough to want a car. So we'll take you around that here in just a little bit. Our goal is to pull this tractor out of the way, hook the gator to the Jeep, because the Jeep has a draw bar on it, I'm gonna hook the gator to the front of the Jeep, or yeah, hook the front of the gator to the front of the Jeep, 
and pull it up to the garage and push it into the garage and hopefully we'll get somewhere with it today. If we don't get there, we don't get there. You got more videos to look forward to, all right? Once again, in case you guys don't know, I'm a bit of a carophile. I just, I just love cars, man. I just love messing with them, playing with them. Uh, buy one, sell one, flip one, have some fun, make some money, lose some money. We can do that and bring you guys along with us. I think it's pretty awesome. Kind of like Wheeler Dealers, except for uh, maybe a little more country. This is a 1987 Buick Grand National, unmolested. Basically, it's had one repaint. The interior is original, 94,000 miles. Here's the interior. Just a really nice car. Driver quality car. Something we're gonna have some fun with on the channel. I'm really, really happy, really excited to have that car. Just a minute ago, the battery was right there. <laughs> I think it's in the yard down there. <laughs> Glad it didn't fall off on the Grand National. That would have sucked. Dogs are enjoying the run. Hopefully all the battery acid didn't drain out of it. That sucks. That's no fun. Let's get it up here. It took the battery a whole lot longer to charge than I thought it would, so we're kind of in a pinch. The sun's going down over here. Uh, I'd like to get it in the shop and work on it, but I think we're gonna have to work outside in the shed here. So let's get this battery over here. We'll pop the hood on the Jeep and see what we got. Let's set this guy right here. Raise the hood up. And battery's over there battery spot let's see if we've got room it's kind of tight quarters right in here guys so bear with me i have to get my shades off this is ratty there's some ratty ratty old wire stuff going on in here it looks like all the belts are good and i know the motor turns over i checked the oil well, let's just check it together i can figure out where to check it i think it's it's like this so the the place you pour the oil in, which is smart, is the same place where the oil goes. It's black, but there's plenty in there, so... This is going to be very, very interesting. So this is the carburetor right here. The air cleaner box, it has that old school oil gross air cleaner. I'm gonna pop the camera off the tripod so you see what's going on under this hood. So here's our battery tray. This is our positive terminal, pretty rough shape. Our negative, it's okay, that's our ground or whatever. That's where we check the oil. This is a four cylinder, flat four Jeep. It's, I mean, it's Jeep, you see J-E-E-P right there. This is our carburetor, our air cleaner. It has this big old mucky, yucky, oil-filled container right here. And what we need to do is pop this cover off this carburetor so we can get a little bit of starter fluid in there. Man, mice have chewed right there. I just want to start it. I just want to see if it'll run today. So I'm not going to drive it anywhere, I don't think. If I do, that'll be extra special, but um, Let's make sure we're in neutral first. Okay, so we're in neutral. The key is off. Let's get our battery over here. And set it in here. Looks like the ground should go to the rear. All right. We will hook up our positive terminal first. These are crusty, crusty old battery cables. I really need to replace them, but for the sake of today, we're gonna go, we're gonna go the old fashioned way here. We're gonna try to break the battery terminal off the battery is what we're gonna do. All right, positive is on, ground. And by the way, I've got all this stuff up in the shop already, uh, replacements, uh, replacement cables and all sorts of stuff and I bought them for the Bronco but I just been dying to get this thing running so hopefully this is it batteries hooked up she's hot first let's see if it'll turn over so in these old Jeeps there's a start switch on the floor like up under the floorboard here I'll show you so right here is what I need to mash to start the Jeep, it's right there, okay? Uh, I'm gonna turn my key on. 
and let's try it. Let's reach in here and give her a shot. Come on, old girl. Oh, it's turning over. <laughs> the starter doesn't sound too hot. Now that there is a good sign. <laughs> so it's turning over. It's not turning over very happily, but it's turning over and smoke is puffing up. So let's get our starter fluid and give it a shot. See what happens. First thing let's do, let's go the old fashioned way. I got a Pepsi bottle here. I'm gonna put some gas in it. All right, so we wanna fill the bowl on the carburetor. Guys, correct me if I'm doing this wrong now. I'm gonna pour a little fuel in there. I'm gonna say that's gonna fill that carburetor bowl. And we'll set this off to the side. I've got a can of starter fluid with this much left in it. Hmm. Let's try it again here without starter fluid. Here goes. Come on, baby. She wants to turn. Ah, oh, she's stopped now. <laughs> Battery cable is not uh, hot or anything. Well, let's, a lot of mouse and water damage probably underneath here. This thing's been in the barn for 30 years, so. so let's try her again. There's the choke. Oh, she's. <laughs> oh, I pulled the knob off the choke. Gonna need a tetanus shot. Good stuff. Here it goes. Come on, baby. I remember this being a pain in the butt when my dad had this thing when we were kids. Battery has 100% charge here. Boy, it turns really freely. You know, I'm thinking the best thing to do is hook this thing to the tractor or the gator, put it in gear, and pull it around the farm until it gets started. This will require the neighbor. Let's fool with it a little bit more here. See what we got. I think we need to roll it. I think we need to roll it off a hill. I got plenty of hills. It's just a matter of doing the work here. Let me think about this for a second. So what's going on here is the starter is kaput. We're not gonna be able to deliver any fuel to the carburetor because the fuel tank is kaput. So the best thing I think to do is to rig up, and I need your opinions here, okay? So um, my thought is to rig up a temporary little gas uh, or fuel container into the carburetor, hook up to the back of the gator and pull it around or the back of the tractor and pull it around and try to get it running. I don't think we're going to pull it in the shop. I cleared out a spot in the shop today and I don't know about your guys' shop, but my shop is always in various stages of dirty. So it was just stuff laying everywhere and we had the hurricane and the shop totally flooded. So I just had to move stuff around all over everywhere. What we're going to have to do, I think that's a good idea. I think I think we're going to say bye. I think we're going to say fail. I think uh, so the way this button works that you put on your foot, you push this, uh, this mechanical lever and it pushes down onto the starter. It's just like the tractor. Let me show you. So on the Jeep, there's a lever similar to this that pushes a button on the starter and causes the starter to turn over and that turns the engine over. That's what that mechanical situation is. That's, that's that right there. So that's on the Jeep. That is right up under here. So it's right here, okay? That is not engaging our starter. Our starter is just fried. It's just old and fried. Now I don't want to put a lot of money into this thing, but I do want to run it and I want to drive it and I want to fix the brakes on it and I want to put around on the farm and enjoy it just like I did when I was a child. So what we're going to have to do is get this thing out. I'm going to get this tractor out of the way. Glenn, 
you, this guy named Glenn has bought it. Glenn, if you're watching, email me, buddy. Come get your tractor so I can get to the Jeep and get this thing out of here. I think the best thing to do is hook it to the uh, gator, put it in a low gear, and pull it around the farm until we can get it to fire up. So I've got to rig up some kind of uh, apparatus right here onto the carburetor to get fuel into the carb. So we'll figure that out. We'll get that all figured out. And the next time we work on the Jeep, we'll have a little bit better plan. So the battery is fully charged, 100% charged, and this thing is not turning over. So if something changes, I will come back after the credits. But for now, I think we're good. I think we're done, guys. I think we're done for the day. We've been defeated by the Jeep, but we'll get it. We'll get it. If any of you guys have any ideas, please leave comments down below. If you have any ideas on the best way to get this thing started, leave comments down below. All right, thanks a lot. And we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Don't forget to pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell down there and you'll get some updates on what's going on here. So much fun stuff going on here on the farm. All right, woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Mrs. Woo! Stony Ridge is gonna kill me if I spend any more money. <laughs> uh, but we got to get a starter, right? <laughs> Woo!